Hey guys, welcome to beta day number five. And so for this beta day video, we're gonna do a review of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And quickly, this video was not sponsored. Everything is my own opinion. I bought the book with my own money and all that. So let's go ahead and get ready. <laughs> Harry Potter fans, you all know that Harry Potter and the Cursed Child came out on the 31st of July. Um, our local bookstore had a little release party, nothing big, nothing crazy. So it was super fun to just to go. And I was actually the first person there, so I got the first book out of the box even before the pre-order people, which was pretty cool. Now, if you didn't know, this is based on a new story by J.K. Rowling, John Tiffany, and Jack Thorne. And it's a play by Jack Thorne. This was actually a play that opened, premiered in London's West End on July 30th. So that's where the book came out on July 31st. And this is supposed to be 19 years later when Harry's kids are going to Hogwarts. For one, it is written like a screenplay. Like, it says Professor McGonagall. And so you don't want to read who's saying it. You just need to look at that and know it. So if you have trouble reading in the form of a screenplay, this might not be the best of a book for you. I don't know if it's going to be on Audible or anything. You might want to listen to it. Um, and I don't want to give away any spoilers. I don't want to do that in case people haven't bought it, haven't read it, because it just came out. Um, But for me, the story, it was a little hard to get into. Some of the storylines and the way they took some of the characters were a little bit different than what I felt that they would go. But like I said, J.K. Rowling left a whole lot into our own interpretations with, you know, what happened through those 19 years of Harry, Hermione, and Ron's life. What happened, Ginny. What happened those 19 years when they were becoming the adults that they are in this book and then she left a lot open onto like what houses the kids get into the personality that each child has it's a little bit iffy you know she left a lot open and this basically starts off kind of you know where it left us on the seventh um, seventh book and the eighth movie. So, I mean, you would read, you can read this. Uh, I, if you're a Harry Potter fan, definitely get it, definitely read it. It's a lot different departure from the Harry Potter books. I can say, in my own personal opinion, I was not, when I read Harry Potter, I didn't want to put the books down. This, I had trouble picking it back up to keep reading it. I literally bought it on Sunday morning. Yeah. No, Saturday morning. No, it was Sunday morning. Yeah, I literally bought it at midnight on Sunday. And then we took the kids to the pool and I read all the way till um, act three and at the pool. So, I mean, I enjoyed it. It was definitely a different direction from where I thought they were gonna go if she ever did write them. And I really would love for her to write a book that like happened the 19 years, you know, right after Hogwarts, the battle and, grad and you know, some of the people graduating or not graduating, did they go back to school? Did they not go back to school? You know, that's where I would kind of want her to write another book. And then it'd be great to write a book about the kids, about the Harry's, children because he has two sons and a girl so you saw that in the clip so I'm not spoiling anything that was in the movies if you've seen the movies that was at the very end and I have no battery sorry about that guys my battery like totally died so uh, like I said it leaves off right at the end where you kind of see the end of the eighth the Deathly Hallows movie Part, part two. So, 
be you'll be surprised with some of the ways the characters get taken in this book and how things change and how things kind of come about so I mean it's a really awesome read I think it's a pretty good read um, and everything it's weird written like a script so that's something you might have to get used to like I said but I think it's a really good read now if you're not a big Harry Potter fan and you just want to read it um, check it out at your local library or something but if you're a Harry Potter fan like me and you want to have one of these in your collection then I would go ahead and purchase this um, and I'm going to just throw one thing out. If you have a local bookstore, like a town bookstore, please, 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 please purchase it from your local bookstore. Local bookstores, I need all the love and attention that we can give them. I don't want them to die away. Um, that's why I went to our local bookstore to purchase it. I rarely purchase anything um, from our bookstore in the mall. Uh, the guy who runs Burlington by the Book, he has a, um, or our bookstore has a little owl that are their mascot and it's name's Bert. Yeah. So yeah, go to your local bookstore and purchase them. Local book owners, a lot of times they can order a book for you if you, they don't have it, they can't find it. So I would go to your local bookstore and pick up a copy of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child parts one and two. It's a really good perspective of being, seeing it seeing how Harry's life all that impacted it him how his life impacts his children and everything it's kind of weird it's like you know if you grow up in the shadow of an older brother who's like a jock or really artsy or something you kind of grow up in that shadow and you kind of have to measure up to them well the brother that they pick the son that they pick to choose I'm not saying which son they're choosing but if you've seen the movies or read the books you would probably know but I don't want to do any spoilers um, then you know which one they pick he she picks but it's kind of seeing it through his eyes and how he lived his life and all this kind of stuff so it's a really good book and I really enjoyed it so that was my yeah so I hopefully you guys will go out and purchase this from a local bookstore if you don't have a local bookstore by all means, order it on Amazon, but if you have a local bookstore, purchase it through them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this book review and I will catch you later. Hey guys, so we just did, I just did my first book review on my channel ever. And I think I am going to start doing some more book reviews um, when I finish reading some of my books, whether it's a current book or not. Um, I love getting recommendations to read lots of different kinds of books, any kinds of books. So it's great to hear about from other people. I just, we just did Harry Potter and the Cursed Child and since it just came out, I don't want to do any spoilers on anything in case people haven't read it and they want to read it. But hopefully you guys will enjoy these book reviews. If you guys have any recommendations for some books that you want me to read, I read a lot of crime, mystery novels and stuff. so. Yeah, if you have any um, books that you guys want me to review or anything you want me to read or maybe you have questions about recommendations for some books to read, that would be awesome. I'm also hopefully going to start doing some children's book reviews for you guys. So any of you that have kids who are looking for kids books or anything like that. I had started thinking about doing these book reviews a long time ago and I never got around to doing them. So I'm hopefully going to start filming those videos. I want to write down a list of books that I want to review for you guys. But I hope you enjoyed our very first book review, and I will see you guys later. Bye!